Threads of Fate, Binay, Badol, and Dinesh, a saga of justice and sacrifice. In a small town nestled between rolling hills and lush fields, the trio of Binay, Badol, and Dinesh found themselves incarnated into different religious and educated families. Unbeknownst to them, their paths intertwined from early childhood. From school to college, they were inseparable, yet a mysterious sense of familiarity lingered, connecting them to a past they couldn't remember. As the sands of time flowed, their lives took divergent paths. Binay, now known as Professor Binay Chatterjee, excelled in academia, becoming a respected professor at a top city college. Badal Singh Nihal embraced the call of duty, rising to the rank of Ips, while Danish Ali became a communist leader and an ethical hacker, advocating for justice in the digital realm. Years later, a reunion was planned, a trip that would unravel the threads of their shared destiny. Little did they know, Danish orchestrated the gathering to expose the harsh reality faced by poor villagers under the rule of a corrupt local administration. The trip became a trap, a ploy to kidnap them and use their plight to highlight the exploitation faced by the villagers. On the ominous date of the 13th of December, the trio fell into the hands of Maoists, and tragedy unfolded. News of Ips Badal Singh Nihal's kidnapping reached the police, prompting a swift but misguided response. The alleged rescue mission targeted an entire village, leaving chaos in its wake, yet yielding no information on the kidnapped trio. Unbeknownst to the public, the police involved were not official law enforcement but private mercenaries with ulterior motives. Their mission was to seize the villagers' land for industrial development, disguised under the pretense of combating insurgency. The villagers, aware of the mercenaries' true intentions, played along, pretending ignorance. As night fell, the echoes of cries and gunshots pierced the air, revealing the mercenaries' true nature. Danish, unaware of the mercenaries' involvement, would later grapple with the harsh reality that the once-forgotten trio were freedom fighters during the British era, known as Binay, Badol, and Dinesh. The central minister, a fake protector of religion and a creator of communal riots, emerged as the true antagonist in this tale. His web of deception, intertwined with corruption and greed, drove the tragic events that befell Binay, Badol, and Dinesh. The trio's sacrifice exposed not only the minister's misdeeds but also ignited a spark, reminding the world that the fight for justice transcends time and manifests in unexpected ways. Introduction to the trio's reincarnation In the picturesque embrace of a serene small town, where the air carried the fragrance of blooming flowers and the melody of chirping birds, the trio of Binay, Badol, and Dinesh began their journey anew through the cycle of reincarnation. Born into distinct families, each with its own religious and educational tapestry, the trio embarked on the canvas of life with the canvas of their past lives shrouded in the mist of forgetfulness. Binay, with his incisive mind and thirst for knowledge, found himself in the household of a respected academic family, eventually becoming known as Professor Binay Chatterjee. Badol, drawn to the call of duty and justice, was reincarnated into a family with a strong sense of discipline and service, rising through the ranks to become its officer Badal Singh Nihal. Meanwhile, Dinesh, with a penchant for activism and technology, entered the world as Danish Ali, born into a family that valued political ideals, eventually emerging as a communist leader and an ethical hacker. From their earliest years in this rebirth, a subtle but undeniable thread of familiarity intertwined their lives, like a silent echo from a distant past. Their shared experiences in childhood, school, and college painted a tableau of camaraderie and unity, yet the mystery of their intertwined destinies remained veiled, hidden within the folds of time. As they traversed the tapestry of education together, from classrooms filled with the hum of intellectual curiosity to college campuses buzzing with youthful energy, the trio remained blissfully ignorant of the profound connection that bound them. The ethereal whispers of their past life remained unheard, a secret waiting to be unveiled as they journeyed through the years, their fates converging once again in a tale that transcended the boundaries of time and memory.
The Reunion and Danish's Scheme The long-anticipated reunion among the trio, Binet, Badol, and Dinesh, unfolded against the backdrop of nostalgia and the unspoken echoes of a shared past. Danish Ali, the orchestrator of this gathering, had a clandestine scheme concealed beneath the veneer of camaraderie. As the trio converged, their lives, now shaped by diverse professions and experiences, collided in a moment both poignant and mysterious. Danish, with his dual roles as a communist leader and an ethical hacker, skillfully waved a narrative that transcended the boundaries of friendship. The reunion, ostensibly a celebration of their enduring bond, was, in reality, a carefully crafted trap, a means to expose the harsh realities faced by the marginalized villagers under the thumb of a corrupt local administration. Unbeknownst to Binet, now Professor Binet Chatterjee, Badol Singh Nihal, the IPS officer, and Danish Ali, the revolutionary hacker, the camaraderie of their youth was about to be tested. The gathering, initially brimming with laughter and shared memories, transformed into a crucible where Danish sought to illuminate the shadows that shrouded the lives of the oppressed. Through subtle maneuvers and orchestrated events, Danish guided the trio towards the heart of the villagers' struggles, revealing a tapestry of exploitation, deception, and injustice. The scheme, while harboring a noble cause, unveiled the stark realities faced by the impoverished villagers. The trio, drawn into Danish's narrative, found themselves entangled in a web of circumstances that demanded not only their attention but also their collective response. The reunion, which began as a harmonious symphony of reminiscence, soon became a crescendo of awareness and activism. Danish, with a mix of conviction and strategy, led them towards a path where their shared past, still obscured in the recesses of their memories, would collide with the pressing issues of the present. As the trio grappled with the unveiled truths, the reunion evolved into a transformative journey, a journey that would not only reshape their understanding of their past but would also thrust them into a role far beyond the boundaries of their individual professions. Danish's scheme, albeit veiled in subterfuge, became the catalyst for a collective awakening, setting the stage for a confrontation with forces that transcended both time and personal history. Tragedy strikes on the 13th of December. On the ill-fated date of the 13th of December, the trio, Binet, Badol, and Dinesh, found themselves ensnared in the unforgiving grasp of tragedy. The echoes of that day resonated with a haunting melancholy, forever altering the course of their intertwined destinies. Kidnapped by Maoists, the trio's journey took an abrupt and distressing turn. The quietude of their lives shattered as they were thrust into a world of uncertainty and peril. The once vibrant camaraderie that defined their reunion metamorphosed into a nightmare, with shadows of a dark past resurfacing in the form of captivity. As news of Ips Badal Singh Nihal's abduction reached the ears of the authorities, a ripple effect ensued. The response was swift, albeit misguided, as the forces meant to rescue him descended upon a village caught in the crossfire. The purported rescue mission, led by those who believed they were upholding justice, only deepened the chaos, leaving the villagers bewildered and the trio's fate hanging in the balance. Unbeknownst to the public, the alleged police forces were not the severes they appeared to be, rather, they were private mercenaries, masquerading as law enforcement, with ulterior motives. The village, caught in the crossfire between conflicting interests, became a stage for deception and manipulation. As the night unfolded, the trio's lives hung precariously in the balance. The cries of desperation and the chilling resonance of gunshots pierced the air, painting a harrowing tableau of the harsh realities faced by those entangled in the web of political machinations. The once vibrant dreams of a just reunion shattered, replaced by the stark and unforgiving reality of abduction and violence. In the aftermath, the void left by the trio's disappearance echoed through the community, and the search for truth and justice intensified. The tragic events of the 13th of December not only marked the physical separation of Binet, Badol, and Dinesh but also became a somber turning point in the narrative, leading the tale down a path where the pursuit of justice and the unveiling of hidden agendas would become paramount. The trio's abduction, orchestrated by external forces, set the stage for a deeper exploration of the web of deception that entangled their lives and the lives of the unsuspecting villagers. Unveiling the Mercenaries' Deception 
As the narrative unfolded, the layers of deception surrounding the trio, Binay, Badol, and Dinesh, began to unravel, revealing a web of deceit and manipulation that extended far beyond the initial tragedy. The alleged police forces involved in the rescue mission, who were, in reality, mercenaries with a hidden agenda, emerged as the clandestine architects of the unfolding drama. The supposed law enforcement operation, orchestrated under the guise of rescuing its Badal Singh Nihal, was, in fact, a calculated ploy to exploit the village for economic gain. The mercenaries, disguised in uniforms that bore the facade of justice, were mercenaries with ulterior motives to seize the villagers' land for industrial development. The villagers, unwittingly caught in the crossfire of conflicting interests, played their roles in a tragic charade. Faced with the imminent threat of losing their homes and lands, they feigned ignorance, becoming unwilling actors in a play orchestrated by the very forces claiming to protect them. The revelation of the mercenaries' true identity added a sinister layer to the unfolding narrative. The purported severes were, in reality, agents of greed and exploitation, acting as instruments for powerful interests seeking to capitalize on the vulnerability of the villagers. The mask of law and order they wore concealed a dark agenda that had little regard for justice or the lives it disrupted. As the truth seeped into the consciousness of the unsuspecting villagers, a collective sense of betrayal and desperation took hold. The once-trusted symbols of authority were exposed as mercenaries working not for the public good but for personal gain. The unraveling deception laid bare the harsh reality faced by the community, a reality that transcended the immediate tragedy of the trio's abduction. This revelation cast a shadow not only over the trio's fate but over the entire narrative, transforming it into a story of systemic exploitation, greed, and the resilience of a community faced with deception. The mercenaries, once faceless adversaries, emerged as the embodiment of a larger, insidious force that manipulated justice for its own gain, leaving the trio's legacy intertwined with the fight against a more profound and systemic darkness. Nightfall and the Truth Unveiled As the curtain of night descended, Casting its dark veil over the village, the atmosphere became charged with tension and mystery. The trio, Binay, Badol, and Dinesh, remained captives, their fate hanging in the balance, while the villagers continued to play their part in the orchestrated charade. The cries of despair and the unsettling echoes of gunshots reverberated through the village, creating an unsettling symphony that betrayed the tragedy unfolding in the shadows. The night, once a canvas of shared memories and communal existence, now bore witness to a stark confrontation between truth and deception. In the silence between gunshots, the villagers, initially coerced into feigning ignorance, began to unveil their own clandestine plan. The facade of collaboration with the mercenaries gave way to a collective resolve, a resolve to resist the exploitation that threatened to swallow their way of life. The night became a stage where the oppressed reclaimed agency, shattering the illusion that had ensnared them. As the villagers, guided by an unspoken understanding, rallied against the mercenaries, Danish Ali, the unwitting accomplice in the mercenaries scheme, began to piece together the truth. The cries and gunshots that had initially seemed like mere echoes of chaos now took on a deeper meaning, a symphony of resistance against a common enemy. The truth, once obscured by the darkness of deception, began to emerge, casting a stark light on the mercenaries' malevolent intentions. Danish, grappling with the realization that he had unwittingly become a pawn in a larger game, found himself torn between his ideals and the harsh reality unfolding before him. The nightfall became a crucible of revelation, not just for the trio but for the entire village. The cry of the oppressed and the gunshots fired in resistance painted a tableau of collective courage, exposing the mercenaries' true nature and setting the stage for a confrontation that would transcend the immediate tragedy. In the aftermath of that fateful night, as the truth unfolded like petals of a reluctant flower, the trio's abduction became a catalyst for a larger awakening. The nightfall, once a harbinger of despair, became a symbol of resilience, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refused to be silenced by the shadows of deception. The Climactic Battle Against the Central Minister In the wake of the trio's tragic fate, Danish Ali, fueled by the revelation of their past as freedom fighters, took it upon himself to expose the Central Minister's villainous deeds. 
As he delved into the intricate web of corruption and deception, he uncovered the minister's role in orchestrating communal riots and exploiting the poor for personal gain. Armed with digital evidence and a renewed sense of purpose, Danish rallied supporters from various walks of life, activists, journalists, and even some disillusioned members of the minister's own political party. The fight against the minister transcended personal vendettas, it became a crusade for justice and truth. The battleground shifted from the physical world to the digital realm, as Danish, the ethical hacker, strategically exposed the minister's misdeeds on social media and various online platforms. The revelations gained momentum, capturing the attention of the public and tarnishing the minister's carefully crafted image as a protector of religion. Simultaneously, Professor Binay Chatterjee and the memory of Badol Singh Nihal fueled the flames of dissent in academic and law enforcement circles. Students rallied behind Binay's impassioned calls for justice, while police officers disillusioned by the minister's manipulation began questioning their loyalties. As the pressure mounted, the central minister resorted to desperate measures. He attempted to silence the trio's advocates through intimidation and coercion, unleashing a wave of threats against Danish, Binay, and anyone associated with their cause. However, the resilience of the people proved stronger than the minister's oppressive tactics. The climax unfolded in a courtroom, where the trio's allies presented irrefutable evidence against the minister. The public, once swayed by the minister's charisma, now witnessed the unmasking of a manipulative puppeteer. The courtroom became a symbolic arena where truth triumphed over deceit. In a dramatic turn of events, the central minister, stripped of political power and public support, faced legal consequences for his crimes. The fight against corruption and communal strife, sparked by the sacrifices of Binay, Badol, and Dinesh, left a lasting legacy, inspiring a new generation to stand against injustice. The battle against the central minister was not just a physical confrontation but a collective effort to reclaim justice, truth, and the spirit of a nation. The trio's sacrifice, once shrouded in mystery, became a beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards a brighter and more just future. One day Mataram